let me just give everyone my thoughts on on this um the i guess how i felt initially so a couple things first i have never felt more angry um um, just a, a, a sense of um, despair and anger that I didn't necessarily know what to do with me that, you know, if I were to ever find myself in that situation that I would hope and I would, and I would, and I would take, I would hope that the officer or whomever would see my phone and see my children on my phone and realize that he's not just taking the life away of a monster, right? He's taking the life of someone who, um, you know, is, is a human, right? Is, is someone who loves his kids, someone whose kids love their daddy, um, whose wife adores him and, and who adores his wife and whose family, mother, father, and everybody um, really will miss this person if he's gone. And, you know, because the challenge is, is that we walk around in the skin and, you know, if we, we can certainly, um, you know, rise to a certain level of, of, of success and reach the certain peaks that we're all trying to reach. But at the end of the day, all that officer will see is my skin. And so I can't necessarily avoid that, even if I'm a perfect citizen. Uh, and so if he perceives me to be a monster in that moment, I'm hoping that I would be able to pull out some shred of humanity in that person that will allow me uh, continue to breathe and still be in the lives of, of, of my family. The word I used uh, to, to my friends who reached out to me, friends from all walks, was enraged. The need to change, even from me, right, has, has, has been as kind of a priority as it should, should have been, right? At this point in my life, you know, I'm a, a father of two. Um, my daughter is 21, um, actually celebrated her 21st birthday, uh, you know, a couple days ago. My son is 18. Um, and we've had these conversations. I think the first time we experienced it and talked about it as a family was during the Trayvon Martin case when they were, you know, middle school age back in 2012. And so, um, maybe part of the rage and part of the pain that, that I feel is knowing that, that their lives are directly impacted one way or another. And that um, in the most indirect w way, they, that the rules by which they have to live by are, are not, not that of pure equality and, 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 and justice to one day them ending up in one form or fashion in the wrong place at the wrong times. Uh, as a leader of a firm who sits on a, a couple of boards and in, in positions that I have, right through to what I say to my friends is, this has to be much more of a, a priority than it's ever been, right? That there is no more sidelines in this, that everyone is either on the side of right or wrong.